Um, today's a beautiful day, beautiful day today. I mean, um, how you guys doing? How y'all feeling? I mean, I go by the name that I am that I am. And welcome to another video. Welcome to another great video. I hope we enjoy it. You know what I mean? We enjoy it. We all get into it together. You know what I mean? Um, and before we get into it, before we do anything or uh, share anything, you know what I mean? Um, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel for more videos I mean, in the future. Make sure y'all subscribe. Click on the notification alert so y'all can be alert for the new videos that are coming. You know what I mean? But today, I really uh, would love to share with y'all the things, some of the things that I've done learned throughout the years. I mean about ourselves, you know what I mean? Like I said, my name is I am that I am. I'm a self-motivator, I'm a hip-hop artist, and I'm just trying to talk to y'all basically about, you know what I mean, uh, the energy within ourselves, the power within ourselves that um, we don't thought to not pay attention to, you know what I mean? So, um, because by this world we're living in, it's a world that, you know what I mean, make sure that we don't think right, we don't know who we are, they give us an identity, and we run with it, you know what I mean, and, and then we die without even really know who we are, without really even know nothing about um, the oneness, you know what I mean, oneness, the connection between ourselves and the almighty God or the energy, uh, however you want to call it, you know what I mean, nature, nature, uh, the universe, uh, you know what I mean, the frequency, the vibration, all is one, all is one, all is one, and they make sure that we don't know that, you know what I mean, and um, why, because they know, a lot of people know the power within, the power within ourselves. you know what I'm saying, even Jesus Christ was telling the people, you know what I mean, if the people believe I mean, uh, believe in, have a little bit of faith, you know what I mean? They can do greater things that he had done, you know what I mean? It's, he was just basically telling the people, the same power that I have within myself is the same power that you have within yourself that they're not teaching you, you know what I mean? Especially the church, you know what I mean? They're not teaching you the right way, you know what I mean? That's why, like, even Jesus Christ himself wasn't a religious man. He wasn't, I mean, he probably was religious, but he wasn't, he didn't have a religion. He wasn't a Christian. He wasn't a Baptist. He didn't even really go to church because he knew that the church was our body, you know what I mean? And God was within ourselves and God within everything in this universe, you know what I mean? That's have life, you know what I mean? Because God himself is life, you know what I mean? So, basically, we, we have this power within ourselves that's so powerful. You know what I mean? Greater he that's within ourselves than what's in the world. It's basically God is living within ourselves, within every living things. But we have the intelligence enough that to really connect with God. You know what I'm saying? Connect with God. Because God works with us every day. You know what I'm saying? Every day that we wake up, God is within ourselves. So we had to really work into that light. You know what I'm saying? To that light. If we know how powerful that we are if we know the uh, the energy that within ourselves can benefit us I mean to anything I mean health I mean and wealth I mean education and all that and I mean we have to be still and let that energy really work within ourselves be still know that I am God I mean it's basically talking to us that we have to really listen to ourselves like them I am, am I what they say I am? You know what I mean? Or am I the energy that within not serve? You feel me? That's why I say I am. You know what I mean? When you're introducing yourself, you say I am. Because I am that I am is God. And you are I am. And we are I am. You know what I'm saying? That's why we say I am. Basically, I am is who we are. And the names that they done give us uh, like our parents don't give us just the little title, the little identity that they create for us. But who we truly are is the energy that within ourselves, the energy that connect to everything that vibrating to this universe. You know what I mean, the oneness. So that's exactly who we are. But they don't want us to know that. They don't want us to know that we carry that great power within ourselves that 
that we can do anything and everything that we want. You know what I mean? We have the ability, we have the power, we have the, you know what I mean? We have the vehicle, you know what I mean? To really like use, to be, or to do as great than even Jesus Christ himself done done. Because even him said, if we have a little faith, we can tell the mind to move and the mind will move. Only faith and who within ourselves. Not somebody else that's outside of it ourselves, because that's what they taught us to really like give our powers away. You know what I mean, give our powers to some outside force. You know what I mean, outside force. Because God is not invisible like people make it seem like, or the religious people make it seem like. God is not invisible because every day you wake up, you see God. You know what I mean, you see the trees, you see the animals, you see the creation. You know what I mean? Within the things that even humans are doing. It's like the creation, like the cars, manufacturing, and all that. All this is God. You know what I'm saying? You see the birds. They, they are God. You know what I mean? I look at myself in the mirror every day. I see God. So, of course, God is, re is real and God is right here. Like the energy. Many people call it God. Many people call it the energy. Many people call it nature, the universe, whatever. It's the same thing. Every messenger, every prophet, every man of God, whatever they call them, that work through this earth, they all have the same message that God is within ourselves. The kingdom of God is within. Now, I mean, to know God, you have to know yourself. If you don't know yourself, you cannot know God. It's only one force, one energy, one power. It's not two power, it's not three power, it's only one that create everything that existed throughout the universe. You know what I mean? And, and that same power is within me, is within you, is within everything else. You know what I mean? We are one. It's one, the oneness that they don't teach us. You know what I mean? To really organize you know what I mean? who, we, who we really are. And, and I think that's like a big problem. You know what I mean? A, a big problem. Uh, especially you are growing up, they give you a name, you know what I mean? Then they tell you that's who you are. Then they limit you from the abilities, from the things that you could uh, achieve, you know what I mean? They don't tell you whatever you think about, that's who you really are, you know what I mean? So if you think negative, you're basically going to be negative. If you stressing all the time, of course, you might end up dying because stress is going to kill you. But if you always think positive, you know what I mean? You're going to be positive. You do positive things with a belief, you know what I mean? Whatever you want to accomplish. If you have a low faith, you have a low belief, you could accomplish anything. You could do greater things that Jesus done, you know what I mean? So, the power within ourselves that Jesus, Buddha, Mishra, all the guys, all the men of God, I mean, all the uh, uh, prophets, all the books, religious books, they're all teaching the same thing. But you have to really understand what you read. Like, basically, because the religious teachers, they're not teaching you how to read a, a, a verse or a, a sentence. You know what I mean? They, they don't teach you how to read the Bible. They don't have that time or they don't put in that time to really teach you how to read any other book other than the Bible. I mean, even themselves, if the book is not religious, they're not going to read it. If it's not about not me, Christianity or Jesus Christ, whatever, they're not going to read it. But even Jesus Christ will tell you to study other people, to study other great men, because Jesus himself studied other great men. You know what I mean? So, as we go into that journey, we have, we have to learn who who we really are, you know what I mean? Like, we really have to learn, like, damn, oh, okay, am I who they say I am, or am I who I really are, like, within myself, like, that voice that talk to me every day, you know what I mean? The, the power, the energy that within myself, that I work with every day, you know what I mean? That protect me, you know what I mean? Give me visions, you know what I mean? Like, that show me the reality, that probably give me instincts, you know what I mean? All this is right here. If we really pay attention, 
Well, hear that that voice talk to us, like really like talking to us, guide us. Know what I mean, that's why like we think we we cannot really like control our thinking. I mean, we can't control our thinking, but we cannot stop thinking because that thought is really God. You know what I'm saying? That's not us. Like our body, we're not really our body. We got energy that within our body. So that body really is a, a vehicle that we nav navigate through the earth. You know what I mean? To like, to that journey that we're doing on earth. Basically, you know what I mean? The power is so like powerful if you really pay attention to it. You know what I mean? Like I said, you can manifest anything that you want. But you have to believe that God is not outside of yourself. That energy that you turn yourself is the same energy that every great man that do all the great miracles that work in water, they carry the same, the same energy. Now I mean, me and the Father is one. Me and the energy is one of me within that power. That power is one. It's the same thing. Jesus have the same similar thought with everybody else that talk the same thing. Buddha, Mitra. Me and Jesus, we probably we're talking about the same thing. Now I mean, within the same, the different area, different area, different places, different um people. You know what I mean? But we all, we both know that God is within ourselves. God is not separate from us. We're not separated from God because we are one. That oneness. God is within me. Now I mean, I am God, and God is me because the energy is within me. Now I mean, because God. We are the, the vehicle God used to, to do different things throughout the world. You know what I mean? When I see somebody, I look at somebody, I see God. I look at the plants, I see God. I look at the trees, the, the birds, I see God. You know what I'm saying? That energy that within everybody else is not just outside of ourselves, but it's also inside of ourselves. There is no separation. And if we know that, if we really know that and pay attention, we can do greater things that all these great men ever done. All we had to do, all we had to learn or is learn the, the we had to learn the uh, principles, you know what I mean, or, or the, you know I mean, the basic thinking or the basic uh, understanding of life, of God itself, you know what I mean? Because God is not a she or a he, you know what I mean? God is just one, a completeness, you know what I mean? It's one power that created everything else that had uh, two different sides, a feminine side and a masculine, a positive and negative. You now I mean it's balance. You now I mean God Himself created the darkness and the light. You now I mean God created everything that we've seen. And everything that we've seen that existed throughout the world. You now I mean God created everything. Everything created with the thought. You now I mean basically your thought, the thought is God. You now I mean the thought is God, the energy that within ourselves. I mean, that give us the thought is God. I mean, and everything created with a thought. I mean, with a thought. Creation created with a thought. Everything created with things before it been manifested outside of us. You know what I mean? So even God Himself, before he even say, uh, there be light, He think about, I mean, the light. I mean, and He believe that He can create the light, then the light created. And the same force that created everything else is within ourselves. I mean, we carry that same energy, that same vibration, that same frequency. You know what I mean? Some people, they vibrate on that lower frequency. Some people high, vibrate on the high frequency. But you have to know, you know what I mean, how to manifest yourself, how to work with yourself, how to learn who you really are to vibrate in a high level. Because they want you to always stay on that Lower vibration. I mean, they give you the music, the the television, everything else. You know what I mean? Religion. All this has to distract you. School. I mean, it's good you know how to read and write, but they make sure you don't know who you are. They teach you something else. They teach you about your identity. So you can just be a slave. You know what I mean? Like really a slave to this body. You know what I mean? And, and don't really use your ability to get out of your Poverty, you know what I mean, or the problem that you're facing is because you don't know that you carry that great power that could take you from this place to that place. Only a little faith, only a little belief. I mean, like Jesus said, you can do miracles, you can 
do uh, treatment, you can uh, do anything. It's only practice and self-belief. I mean, once you believe that God is not within yourself, God is outside of yourself, you're giving all your power away. I mean, and that's what they want us to do. They want us to give, basically give our power away so we don't have no power at all. So we just think we're just that body. I mean, so we're going to just think we are that body and we cannot use that force, that power. I mean.